Janet Kramer and recently I had a Facebook Live performance with my group Grupo Paz and uh, had quite, um, quite numerous comments about the setup and so I just wanted to make a quick little video on my setup that I used for that, that ensemble. Our repertoire is um, Brazilian, Bossa Nova, MPB, um, so I want to kind of resemble the, the styles of Brazilian music and, and so this is kind of the side of the, the Brazilian side along with the cajon obviously but I wanted to have the 16th notes and a little bit of tambourine to give the tambourine sound but it also acts as the snare drum and that I don't have to bring another drum and the snare would take up a little bit more space. There's also mounted snare, snare drums, but I kind of like the sound of the tambourine, especially in, in because it's such a small ensemble. Um, and then obviously the bass drum now is this advent of people using cajons for, for bass drums. And I like it because I like the sound of it. It, bring, it gives that low end, but it also does not take space up in front and it's kind of hard to put congas kind of behind a bass drum and be comfortable. So um, space reasons and just because of, uh, of the sound and practicality of the cajon, especially for a smaller ensemble. And a lot of drummers, percussionists kind of do that, kind of use it. Um, in another ensemble that I have that I play with just a duo, uh, the guitarist plays some South American stuff that lends well with just playing the cajon like traditionally. So I use this setup with LP. There's all different kinds of uh, pedals that you could use for your cajon, but I use the LP one so that I can just lean the drum back a little bit and play the cajon in a traditional sense. So um, the congas, obviously, if you have sticks, you can kind of play across stick as well. And, and then, you know, depending on the, where the verse or the chorus is. And, and then obviously when I play congas, I just use my hands. I don't advocate playing the, the drums with sticks. Um, so I will use my hands and that kind of and kind of adds another layer, another um, vocalization, I guess, in the song. And then for our Cal Jader and kind of a Latin jazz because of the Joe Sonnefeld on the vibraphone, um, I want to be able to play a really great son montuno or tumbao. And, and then, of course, it, it changes with the hi-hat instead of playing on the upbeats, it's going to play on the downbeats. And then you're playing tumbao with the bass drum. Uh, all of that said and done, um, this is just a practical way to bring all of the voices that you need to play the, that music and not to bring a whole lot of equipment and not to be overpowering. I don't use any kind of cowbells because I don't feel like I need to, especially if it's a trio, even if it's a, it's a quartet. Um, it's really not, it's kind of over redundant really. And I, the hi-hat cuts through enough that it provides that whatever the cowbell is doing. So in conclusion, this is my setup for my group, Grupo Paz. You can find us on KramerDrums.com or on YouTube. Thanks for visiting.